Don, I know this is sort of part of the postseason exercise and everything, but the decision to pull Clayton at that point, what had you seen through that inning? Uh, and what was going through your mind as it was unfolding? Uh, going into that inning, we kind of looked at it where his pitch count was and kind of thought through Granderson. If we got back to right, you know, at the fourth time through with, you know, David thumps on left, he's pretty good. Uh, felt like that was going to be a spot if we got to that point um, that we were going to make a move there. And then... To the back center right. Uh, Donnie, how good was DeGrom against your guy? Yeah, pretty good. Uh, obviously, you know, a lot of uh, just velocity. You just seemed like he beat us with that a lot. Um, I thought we did a pretty good job with him of, of not chasing the change or the, or the breaking ball down. Um, but with that, you end up chasing some elevated fastballs, and I, I think he beat us with that a little bit. We had a few chances. We got some runners, JT. Got on a couple of times. We had a little rally going. Um, we just weren't able to get that hit early. Um, so he, I thought he, I thought he was pretty good. Uh, right here, B to the right. Um, the earlier at bats uh, they had against Clayton earlier in the game. How much did that help sort of get him in the situation he ended up in uh, in that inning? Um, well, David's at bat, um, second hit of the game. We get. To, getting out on the first pitch and then I think we're at 10 or 11 after after him so he, he kind of pushed it he gets Cespedes in three um, but there were different at bats I thought were pretty good but his pitch count really wasn't that you know really in, in general wasn't that bad um, I think he was at 50 or 49 after three which is basically just a few over if you're looking at 15 an inning um, so uh, but you know I I thought they did a good job battling. I think that's what that's what happens for me in the playoffs. You get more and more battle at bats. There's no give in at bats. Um, I think the same really with with us with uh, with their guy. So I thought we did a you know a pretty good job. We just weren't able to get you know come crack it. And again to the right. Don, uh, last year similar situations with Clayton. You left him in against Carpenter and he got beat. You left him in against Adams and he got beat. Um, any factor in those performances and your decision to take him out tonight? No, it was more of the just we we felt like Dave is really good against just numbers against lefties are really good. Uh, again, kind of getting back through the fourth time, he'd walk three guys in the inning. He, he couldn't put, you know, due to he was just kind of out of out of sync a little bit. Um, you know, then we get to, I think we get Kadire there. Uh, Tejadas, he's got 0-2. We just couldn't put him away. You know, you know, and then Curtis, he's battling and battling and, and ends up walking him. I think at that point, I got to I gotta feel like go, go right-handed there against David. And right here to the right center. You had uh, Baez warming, I believe, to start the seventh inning. As it developed into a pretty high oh, level. Say it, say it again, I couldn't hear it. You had Baez warming, I believe, to start the seventh inning. Uh, as it developed into a high leverage situation, did you consider using another arm in that situation, or were you committed to him? Uh, I didn't have him at the beginning of the inning. Didn't have him until he was already kind of into that. We we just we counted on David uh, in that spot. Um, I don't. He's one of our two righties that we felt like were power with with David. We weren't really at hatch at that point for one out. Another question for Don. Okay, right here in the center. To your right. Um, facing another really good pitcher tomorrow, do you feel like you need to change the lineup, or is that kind of just moving furniture around? Uh, well, we we'll just each day is individual. You know, you know, Syndergaard's a little different than Degrom. He's, his mix is a little bit different. Uh, we'll just look at it and put the best lineup out there for for tomorrow.